Thank you to our opening entertainment provided by Mendiola Island Productions. Thanks again, you guys. And welcome, everyone, to the 2012 Natus Pacific Southwest Emmy Awards. I'm your announcer, as you can tell by my stylish headphones. I'm Dennis Regan. And allow me now to introduce our master of ceremonies. He is one of Hollywood's most sought-after character actors, most recently known as Big Mike, the Buy More manager in NBC's Chuck. And his other television credits include My Name is Earl, Weeds, Heroes, and Seinfeld. He has appeared in films such as Halloween 2, The Pursuit of Happiness, Planet of the Apes, and Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Please welcome Mark Christopher Lawrence. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Pretty good. So we got a couple of people down here doing all right, maybe one or two over here. Everybody else kind of crappy? How you folks doing tonight? Pretty good? All right. We're going to have a great time tonight. We're going to move this show along. Uh, I'm going to come out several times tonight and just give you a little tidbits about myself so that by the end of the night, you know who I am, and when you see me later at the party, uh, you will feel free and comfortable to buy me drinks. Uh, my name is Mark Christopher Lawrence. I'm originally from Compton, California, home of the drive-by shooting, one of the many cities in America where the cost of living is going up, chance of living is going down. You gotta be careful when you go to Compton. There's always that one brother that'll show up at an event didn't get invited yet, and he's angry about it. He's sitting in the back going, say, man, I'm gonna bust your lip. You figure lips this big, I'm gonna bleed to death. That's why you always see brothers fighting like this. You get popped in that lip, it could be over. Last time I split my lip, lost 20 pounds. Paper cut. I, I love being in Southern California, love being here in San Diego. This is a great place to live. America's finest city. I do a lot of traveling in my job, and I tell you what, I tell you what, folks, I was down south recently, and uh, I I'm sorry, but the south is alive and backwards. Spent a little time in Missouri. Met the governor. He said to me, Mark, we're glad to have you here in Missouri. And I said, yeah, I'm glad to be here in Missouri. He said, uh, we say Missouri. I said, you say it freaking wrong. <laughs> Apparently not as smart as your friends over Mississippi. <laughs> Guess that bookmobile didn't get to Missouri too often. First night on stage, they pick me up at the airport. Let me just set, set the scene for you. Pick me up at the airport, I fly into Kansas City. They pick me up, drive me two hours into the woods. Sedalia, tiny little town. Three teeth in the whole town. <laughs> Mayor's got him on his bracelet. We were so deep in the woods, there was black people there, didn't even know they was free. <laughs> I come out on stage, I said, I said, where's all the black folks at? Somebody said on stage. Uh, this is going to be fun. But got out of there safely, and now I'm back here in California, where people are beautiful, and during the summertime, ladies, you slim down for the beaches. People in Missouri are fluffy year-round. I was a little guy in Missouri. People was walking up to me going, how you doing, little man? <laughs> Pretty good, feeling slim, Bubba. Tiny little guy in Missouri. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Missouri is the home of the big girl. Guys, if you like yourself a big girl, what you do is you go down to Missouri because they fancy the biscuits. Get yourself a sack of biscuits and hang out at the park. And they'll follow you to your car like pigeons. <laughs> Ladies, get a sack of bacon and the guys will follow you. But I'm glad to be here, glad to be here in California. It's, it's, it's so nice. I, I, 
I started working out before I went to Missouri, actually, because my doctor said that I was an anomaly to him. Most people retain water. It appears I'm retaining meat. <laughs> you know, we had meat with every meal when I was a kid. My, my mother is from Louisiana. Yeah. So it was meat with every meal. Snacks. My mother would give you a whole ham. I'm four years old, dragging a 40-pound ham up the stairs. Mom would say, baby, dinner won't be ready for an hour. Take this ham. But it's all good. I'm working on it. You know, they say inside every fat person there's a thin one fighting to get out. There's a fatter one than me. Right now, I'm winning the battle. But I figure before the summer is over, he will rear his ugly head. The fair is in town. They got fried candy bars over there. How do you not eat a fried candy bar? I like fried stuff, I like candy. I'm lucky to have teeth. You know, we got a, we got a great show coming for you tonight. And uh, just to move this along, I, I wanna start out by saying if you're lucky enough to receive an Emmy Award tonight, we, we have some special tips for you accepting your award. And uh, basically these tips are gonna help us move this show fast. Because we don't want to be here all night. We want to get to the drinking, right? Yeah. Now, to give you these tips tonight, uh, a beautiful woman is coming up here from the, the Pacific Southwest chapter, vice president and awards chair, Mary Ellen Eggleston, and chapter executive director, Amy Bosler. Welcome everyone. Everybody having a good time? All right. This comes a part of the show where you don't really want to pay attention, but you have to. We have a few rules for you to follow tonight. First, if the actual Emmy Award recipient is not here, we ask no one except on their behalf. We'll be sure they get their statuette, and if you'd like to pick it up after their name is read, you can see Andy or Emily on the south side of the ballroom. Second. When accepting, please keep your comments to 30 seconds or less. If you hear the music. Your time's up. Third, if your nominated project has three or more nominees and earns the Emmy Award, you all may come up to the stage, of course, but we ask that only one recipient speak. Perhaps the person that this might be their first Emmy would be a good person to choose. Fourth, we ask our very talented multiple Emmy Award recipients to keep it brief on their second or third trips to the podium tonight. And our last tip, when accepting, please enter using the ramp and exit stage right to sign for your Emmy Award. Before we get started, we need to acknowledge a few important people who've helped make tonight possible. We'd like to thank the members of the Emmy Awards Committee and the Board of Governors. You should be recognized for your hard work and many hours that have gone into making tonight's show a success. We also want to thank some of the voices you'll be hearing tonight on our nominee, on our nominee reel. Connie Twilliger, Terry Wildler, Jeff Gelder, and David Drexler. We would like to thank our president, Brian Burke, who was not able to be with us tonight. And let's not forget the producers of tonight's show, Mike Kurtz and Craig Bentley, and associate producer, Reagan Matthews, and all the technical and production crew behind the scenes. In addition to our volunteers, there are many generous partners supporting Emmy and our chapter scholarship program. Tonight we offer our appreciation and thanks to Channel 4, Cox Communications, KGTV, yeah. NDC 7 San Diego, Woo. UT San Diego, Woo. Anthology, yeah. New Sport International who provided our lovely gift bags, yeah. there's only one wino, <laughs> and Tim Austin, CPA Tabulation Services. We would also like to thank all those individuals and companies that donated goods and services for our scholarship silent auction. 
They are listed in your program, so please let them know that we appreciate their support. You may have seen our professional photographer, Chris Rosink. You can order prints at, Chris Rose, at excuse me, rosinkphotography.com, and that website is in your program. Lastly, we'd like to thank our announcer and 2012 Silver Circle inductee, Dennis Reagan. Enjoy the show.